Hey there everybody, I am so excited to share today's video with you. We are going to be looking all over the Plyology new electric spinning wheel. Now I was contacted by the creators of this new spinning wheel um, and asked to be a beta tester. So the version that I have is a prototype, but I'm going to show you everything that came in the box and kind of share a little bit of my experience getting started with it and show you what I have spun on this new wheel so far. So they gave me a little warning ahead of time that they were not including instructions because they wanted to see how intuitive it was uh, for people who were new to the wheel. And so I knew that going in, but when I opened up the box, I could clearly see the different bobbins and there are three bobbins included. And I have never used an electric spinning wheel before and never used 3D printed bobbins, but it's easy to see that they just uh, screw right into place the shaft and the two ends. It also comes with the wheel itself and two cords with it. And I have to tell you, it is so light. The whole box, when it arrived at my door, I was shocked at how light it was. Um, and it was under two pounds, I believe it, they said on the box. Um, and I would absolutely believe it. it is very lightweight. So looking at the wheel itself, there are two places for the cords to plug in and it is easy to see which one goes where. One is a power cord plugs into the wall and the other one is attached to the foot pedal. Now the foot pedal is just an on and off. It's a click, it's not a variable speed or anything, um, but you can turn it around and look at the other side and see the dials. And there, there is a speed dial as well as a tension knob. The tension knob has numbers that go all the way up to 10 and there's a full rotation in between so there's a lot of variability between 0 and 10 and then the speed knob it is not numbered but you can twist it from low to high as well the last little knob here changes the direction of the ply so you push it to the left to spin counterclockwise and to the right to spin clockwise all of these things look very straightforward and I again I'm speaking as someone who has never used an electric spinning wheel before found it really easy to interchange the bobbins. You can see there's these grooves that they slide into and um, you just have to push that spring back and load the bobbin on and off. The wheel uses these eye hooks and the one slides along the flyer to fill your bobbin and then two other ones act as a guide as well. You can see the width here. It's not a giant orifice as far as like art yard, but it is larger than the one that I am used to. So I wanted to get started right away and I'm using a little bit of fiber that I dyed and I'm getting started here. I'm just wanting to play with it right away, see how the speed and tension changes. I'm starting at about five on each of them right at the midpoint and figure it's pretty easy to adjust from there. You know, I feel like initially it's a bit of an adjustment to get used to the fact that the foot pedal is strictly on or off and keeping your foot pushed down is strictly on, which is different than my experience using a very much vintage uh, spinning wheel and also a sewing machine. To me, this like feels like sewing machine foot where the harder you push, the faster it goes, but clearly that's not the case in this design. Um, but it's just an adjustment to get used to the way that all of these things handle. So I'm gonna show you me putting it to work here. You can keep an eye on it and see where it's at while I talk a little bit more. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to say, um, for those of you who are new here, I have a spinning wheel that is over 100 years old and it has been a workhorse for me. I've used it a lot. I've made little adjustments on it here and there, um, but it is the only spinning wheel I have ever spun on. But I have looked into electric spinning wheels quite a lot to the point of even buying an old motor that we were, my husband and I were hoping to kind of make into our own little electric spinning wheel, not as a sale or anything, just for personal use. Uh, but we never got past that point. And so I was so looking forward to seeing how they put this one together and how it would work and function and how it would be for me as the spinner. So I thought I'd show a little bit of a volume test because the speed of my spinning wheel is definitely one of the downsides. So I hope you'll be able to hear that it has a little hum, but it's very easy. This is just a regular talking voice and you can hear the hum, but it's definitely not dominating. Stops the motion and it's simple to slide 
the guides down a little bit to fill up the bobbin. So there are three grippy little feet on the bottom. Um, I do find that back end does have a little bit of a wobble um, because there is only the one in the center. Uh, it's not bad and it hasn't negatively impacted my spinning. I'm just, I'm not exactly sure why they went with one instead of the two, but it does seem to stay in place pretty well. I just wanna be mindful of that because I do have kids and I feel like it might be at a risk of falling because it's so lightweight. Obviously not a problem of the company, um, but it's just not like clamped down into place not going to knock over. So based on my research, it looks like a lot of the electric spinning wheels use friction to adjust the tension with like a drive band or something like that, similar to how the traditional spinning wheels would be. However, on this one here, they use a motor system for that. The motor between the tension and the speed do seem to be connected. And I'm not an expert on this and I don't know what's inside of this one. I'm just saying my observations based off of some of the other models that I have seen from other companies. Uh, but I found it really easy to use and it's nice to have that big range of tension from zero all the way up. Now I will note I did have a little bit of an issue with mine um, and it started to lose some tension based off of one piece becoming a little bit loosened. But again, this is a prototype and I'm a beta tester so I contacted the company and they were very helpful in showing me what to do to fix that. So once they got back to me on that and I got that adjusted, it seems to be working just fine again. It is giving me a nice range between the speed and the tension. So I have finished up two skeins of yarn so far. The first one being the one that I'm showing you and that was chain plied together. And then they had actually sent along two little baths with it. And so I spun those up and I plied them a traditional three ply with a uh, this purpley gray sort of color with it. And so these are kind of the first two things that I have spun on this wheel. Now, I will say my spinning is not as even yet on the electric spinning wheel as I find it to be on my old faithful wheel here. And I know that this just takes practice. I feel like I have way more control when it comes to speed on the electric spinning wheel. And I've really been trying to pay attention as I spin and to play with different settings. Like what if I turn up the speed and down the tension or vice versa in a way that I have not been able to do on my traditional wheel, uh, just because that is so much easier to control than how fast you are treadling. And so because of that, I know that my yarn has ended up a little bit less even, but I wanted to put the time into playing with those settings rather than just barreling ahead once I found that group. But I will say, anytime I started to get feel like it was getting off, like maybe I was adding too much twist, I would reset it back to like five and five, right in the middle of both of them. And then it was easy to make like little changes either way um, and feel like I was kind of on top of it rather than like trying to readjust where I like up the tension and then need to up the speed to get caught up kind of and then keep going from there. If I took a breath and got it back to five, it was a really good starting point to be able to even things out. So Plyology launched their Kickstarter on December 24th. And as I'm recording this, they have already met their minimum. However, there are still some opportunities for like early bird pricing if you jump in on it at this point. They have different launch dates and you can go check that out. I'll make sure to link it in the description box if you wanna go look at um, their website and their Kickstarter page to see a little bit more information. So I've really enjoyed my first few spins on this spinning wheel and I can't wait to see what else the company ends up coming up with um, after these prototypes are into production and out in the world. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of first look at my first few things that I have spun on this wheel. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And again, the company information will be down there too. If you have any like spec information, you wanna check it out from them directly. They have some really good resources on their website um, with some more details of the spinning wheel itself. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.